All right, everyone, this is DJ Hypnotic. I'm still with all of you out there in the real Hypnotic radio world. So with that said, why don't we get the show started? All right, now my special guest for today's show has played the character Tyreek on a popular television series, Sister, Sister. Soon after, to play other roles on ER, Monk, Boston Public, and now you can check them out on BET, Let's Stay Together, which, by the way, debuted with over 4 million viewers. Everyone give it up for my guest, Ron Rico Lee. Yeah, how's everybody doing today? All right, what's up, man? How's it going with you? Man, it's going pretty good. I can't complain. All right, that's good to hear. So you're an actor. Now, you came a long way to get where you're at today. Why don't you talk briefly for everyone out there listening about your hustle? Uh, man, it's definitely been just that, uh, a hustle. I moved out to uh, California in 97. Uh, from uh, from Georgia and uh, really was just kind of struggling uh, trying to get my footing uh, LA is, 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 a, is a you know a huge town a lot of actors a lot of competition uh, but uh, man I was just fortunate very blessed to uh, to land sister sister in 97 uh, that turned into a regular gig for most of 98 uh, show ended in 99 and, and I just kind of been fortunate to find work on various TV shows some movies and uh, now I'm uh, I'm back on TV with uh, with Let's Stay Together. Okay, nice. And the work shows that you've been very successful. So, with that said, like, how does it feel when people remember you from shows like Sister Sister, everything else that you've been a part of? I mean, it feels good. I mean, people tend to usually only remember me from Sister Sister, which is great, man. It's, it's at the end of the day, it's, it's a blessing. But um, but you know, I've been grinding, you know, again since '97. So I have quite a, you know, I have a, a body of work that I'm proud of. I love when people come up to me and remember me from shows like The Shield, even Boston Public. I get occasionally, and then now, obviously, I'm starting to get it for Let's Stay Together. But um, but either way, man, the fact that somebody's coming up to me saying, "Hey, man, I like your show," or "Hey, I remember watching you on Sister Sister." It, it's still all good either way, man. So I'm 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 not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. I, I hear that. Like it takes people back and like all they have is memories, but yeah, it's still a good look either way. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it does, it does. When I forget or I had forgotten how you know, it was a family show, so I used to get a l I I'm 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 getting a lot of parents that can, you know, say, Hey man, I watched the show with a kid you know, with my kids or now I'm starting to get kids that I roll up to me and say, Man, I watched that show when I was little and it's like, Man, really has it been that long? But you know, I guess it has. You know, it's been you know, over over ten years, well over ten years that uh, that we did that show and that it's ended. But syndication uh, keeps that show in rotation, whether it be on Disney or the, uh, G, uh, I think it's a channel called GMC. Man, that show is always on, uh, even overseas. Uh, so it's uh, you know, it's it's a good thing no matter what. Yeah, so you're still seeing uh, like um, the rewards from that show. It's still paying off for you. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt, man. It's still uh, it's, it's it's a blessing through and through. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Yeah, congratulations on that. Uh, how old were you You were on that show? Uh, when I did Sister Sister, I think I was about 19. I think I just turned 19. Um, okay. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I was I was young in the game uh, in, in relation to those guys because they had been doing that show for about six or seven years. And I came in for those last couple seasons. And um, I think they added Dion Richmond. Uh, who played uh, Bud on the Cosby Show? So he was a pro, you know. Uh, so again, I was just I was a new kid on the block trying to, you know, get in where I fit in. I was broke, you know. I was catching the bus to that show uh, for the first year because uh, I didn't have any money to buy a car. And uh, you know, it was always weird when the show started airing. And, uh, you know, people be like, hey, it'd be Monday morning. I'd be on my way to work. The show came on on Sundays. People be hey, man, didn't I see you last night on the WB? And I'd be like, yep. And then I'd be like, ding, it's my next stop. And I'd hop off the bus and go to work. Um, but, uh, but yeah, man, it was just kind of, uh, it was a great experience. Even Tim Reed, Jack A. Harry, I learned so much. Uh, it really gave me the foundation just to do shows like uh, uh, Let's Stay Together, which is a more conventional four-camera sitcom. You know, I, I learned a lot from those guys. Okay, great. So we're going to get into that show in just a second. And people make me feel old when I ask them if they remember Sister, Sister, and they're like, no. Like, I just guess they're not in that same generation, but... Yeah, no, yeah, it's it's uh, again, you know, it's one of them shows that you know for for the time period, you know, it's pretty uh, pretty relevant. But at this point, you know, it's it's considered an old show, and uh, like I say, at some point they'll probably stop showing reruns, and people may forget it all together. But um, but nonetheless, you know, for the people that do remember it, uh, and the people that do still watch it, you know, um, it's still like I say, it's still pretty cool. 
All right, yeah, that's good to know. All right, now let's work our way up to the present time today. You worked with a number of different actors on the main projects that you've been a part of. How was it for you to work with Bernie Mac? Uh, Bernie Mac was uh, was just an amazing experience. You know, one I'll never forget. Uh, you know, he passed away shortly after we did. Guess who? But uh, the the I, I the, guess who was probably one of one of those roles that I wanted so bad. Uh, I, I really fought hard for that role. And uh, I, re I remember going in for the final kind of audition, and I remember seeing Mike Epps, and I was like, damn, man. And I'm like, you know, Mike Epps is a funny dude, so I didn't know which way they were going, but, you know, lo and behold, they were into Mike Epps for, uh, Mike Epps played this cab driver, and uh, I actually auditioned for both parts, but I couldn't tell which one Mike was going to get, which one they were thinking about giving to me. But uh, I, I bumped into Bernie Mac during that last audition, and uh, I, I, we both from Illinois. And so I told him, you know, hey, man, I'm from Illinois. I was trying anything I could to uh, just to kind of, you know, get, get, get that part, man. I'm from Illinois. You know, I've been in Chicago. Uh, but, no, when that part, when I found out that part was going my way, uh, I couldn't have been more excited. And a lot of the stuff that ended up in that movie, man, Bernie, um, that was stuff that Bernie wanted to do. And, and I just rolled with it. You know, luckily I was able to follow his lead. And, uh, you know, he's he was a pro in that sense where he just kind of tossed you the ball and you tossed it back and he tossed it back to you. Very giving. And, uh, you know, like I say, when he passed away, we really lost a legend. Um, it was, again, uh, one, one of those right up there with, you know, one of my tops uh, of, of celebrities that I've worked with. And, um, you know, I, I miss him dearly. You're right. He definitely made his presence known in the entertainment industry. What was one thing that you could say that, like, the most valuable thing that you took away from him? Uh, from Bernie Mac is, uh, don't, you know, Bernie was never the type to be afraid to try something, you know. For Bernie, coming to work and, and doing movies was just literally about coming to work and just trying different stuff, exploring, seeing what you could find. And, and that was the thing. Bernie Mac just kind of... It's little things. I remember we found this little moment where um, it's, it's hard to explain, but it was just so subtle. But again, it was him coming in there, and it really wasn't about what the script said. It was really the, the script for, for a guy like Bernie Mac. The script is just kind of a of a, of a blueprint, if you will, and and it's up to us to kind of construct the scene the way we see it. Uh, the script is just there. Okay, so you guys raising? Yeah. Off of other. I'm sorry. So you guys were able to feed off of each other and grow off of that? Oh, big time, big time. Like I said, that stuff that ended up in that movie, man, half of that, I'm telling you, none of that stuff was in the script I read. Like, a, you know, some of it was, but by and large, it was just Bernie Mac going, hey, you know, Rico, let's do this. And we did it. And, um, you know, luckily I was able just to roll with it. But, um, you know, that that was the biggest thing I took from him is just uh, don't be afraid to try something different uh, because uh, it's a lot of times it's when you try something different that you find what works. And that was his philosophy. Wow, okay, that's good to know. Good to know right there. All right, now let's get into current and talk about more into today. You have a new comedy series that's featured on BT. It's called Let's Stay Together. And also they have the second highest rated premiere for an original scripted series on the network. How does that feel? Uh, it felt great. Um, you know, it was. Uh, I've been in this game a, a, a minute, you know, and uh, to be a part of something uh, that debuted to such strong numbers, that was the first time for me, uh, and I think it was the first time for anybody in the cast. So we were we were really excited. I don't think anybody saw our numbers being that high, um, and uh, it was just, uh, you know, it was just, it was, you know, it was a crazy week uh, when it debuted, and like I said, we got those. Okay, so like, what were you doing? Excuse me? I'm sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, so like, what are you doing for the premiere? Like, how did you celebrate when that show kicked off? Uh, we actually, the executive producer actually uh, kind of rented out this uh, this this great. It's like a restaurant slash pool hall. Uh, so we had a big premiere party in Santa Monica, California, and uh, we watched the show. Um, just kind of surrounded by family, friends, uh, all the cast was there. Uh, most of the people that were part of the show, a lot of BET Network folks was there. And so we just watched it like that. Like I say, the, the, the numbers for the show didn't come out till the next day. I think I got an email uh, from uh, from some network people at BET saying what, what our numbers were. And it, it really, it, I, I, I couldn't put it in perspective right away. It wasn't until, uh, you know, later on in the week I realized, you know, and they, and they announced it was the second highest, you know, premiere for a, a scripted cable show and you realize wow man we had really done something big and, yeah, that's, uh, and that's I, I, I couldn't have been more proud 
Okay, the phone's going in and out. Let me know if you can hear me.